everyone! This is Alyssa with Amateur Arts and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create blackout poetry. And so I'm going to be using the local newspaper and I'm going to be selecting certain words that seem to go together to create a different meaning. And I'm going to basically be making a poem out of it and then I'm going to be covering the rest of the words with a work of art that's going to match my theme. And so anybody can join along. You can use any art supplies that you have available to you. You could just use regular Crayola um, colored pencils or you can use markers. Uh, you can use any newspaper that you want. You could also use books. So if you have any old books lying around that you're not going to be using anymore, uh, this is a good opportunity to do something with them and create something out of them. So I hope you'll enjoy this video. And if you want to see more videos like this, you can like Amateur Arts on Facebook. So this is the page I decided I'm going to be using. I like the shape of the text and I also enjoy some of the words that I'm seeing in here. And so I think I can do a poem out of this. And so what I'm going to be doing is searching for certain words in here that I can kind of create sentences out of. And uh, I'm going to kind of base it upon a theme and then kind of go with that theme. And just basically create a poem out of it using sentences that I created by circling certain words out of this. And then when I am done, I'm going to go around those words and create a piece of art. And that way, the rest of these words will disappear and then you will be able to see the certain words that I've chosen and it's going to form a poem. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to be taking this title and I think what I'm going to do is title my piece Exciting Changes. And so I'm going to take that here, and then that's going to be a part of it. So the rest of these words are going to be covered, and then you're just going to see exciting changes up here. And then I'm going to go through here, and I'm going to kind of go with that theme. So I could already see that exciting changes is repeated right here. So I'm going to want that. So I'm going to take exciting changes and then I'm going to kind of create a sentence out of this. So exciting changes are now in store. So now I've already got my first sentence here and then I'm going to look down the rest of this and see what else I can create going along with that theme. So I like one and will be, like talking about a person, like one will be. I could put one would will be open, but I'm not sure. Let me see here. And here's a word that I can use. So one will be kind. I like that. I feel like it goes with the change, with the exciting changes. One will be kind for a change. And I'm going to take and. So one will be kind and. I'm going to put one will be kind and not copy. Like not copy others. And then this is perfect. <laughs> one will be kind and not copy. And then they are perfect. I'm trying to say one will be copy or one will be kind and not copy others because they're perfect just the way that they are. So I like the way this sounds so far. So I've got exciting changes are now in store. One will be kind and not copy. They are perfect. So I'm going to go over here now. And I'm going to take this we. 
And then I'm going to start talking about us as a whole. I'm going to take we will be kind of repetitive because I like how I'm repeating exciting changes up here and then the one will be then I'll put we will be so I'm going to find a B down here um is there one up higher or you know I'm going to actually take this B but I'm going to use it to create one will begin and one will begin anew or we will begin anew, sorry and then I'm going to go over to this last side and see if I can create anything else out of this Here's we repeating again. So I'm going to do we are change. So we are change. So now my poem reads, Exciting changes are now in store. One will be kind and not copy. They are perfect. We will begin anew. We are change. All right, so I've decided what I'm going to create here with my poem. So now what I need to do is decide what I'm going to create now with the art to follow that theme. So one thing to mention is that you really don't have to be grammatically correct. I mean, a lot of people um, just really don't even make sentences. They may just go with an emotion or a feeling rather than um, actually making sentences. You don't really have to try to create a poem exactly. It can just be the way that you're feeling. You can just circle certain words that um, really mean something to you. So it's entirely up to you with what you want to do and what art you want to create. With all my words chosen, what I'm going to do now is take my ruler and I'm going to take a pen and what I'm going to do is start just lining these so I know where I want this to show I want to have my lines be very straight so I'm taking a ruler just so that I can straighten these out you don't have to straighten yours um, it's just kind of the way that I want it to look And then like I mentioned earlier, you can use any medium that you want, but um, if you do end up using uh, any sort of paints, you'll want to remember that getting this paper wet, it's so flimsy already that you're going to want to tape it down if you go with paint because uh, you're going to have a hard time keeping this from uh, warping.
So the next thing I'm doing is taking an eraser over the areas that I'm not going to use. That way it lightens up these words and so it's easier for me to make the words that I want to stand out to stand out among these so that when I add color they're not going to show through as much. So you can see it's already bringing out the words that I want to have the emphasis on. Try to do this very lightly, that way you don't rip the paper since it's very flimsy paper. Okay, so I worked on a few sketches, and then what I finally ended up deciding to do, I'm going to do a woman here, a pregnant woman, and she's going to have her daughter um, touching her belly. Um, I wanted to try to do something where I had each word fitting inside this picture, and um, it fits pretty much in. So, um, yeah, so I'm going to start just outlining this and then you can actually kind of see the picture come together and I think what I'm gonna do is do this as a silhouette and then have color behind them so I'm just gonna start doing this now
okay so this is what I have now so I've got it all outlined and then the next thing I'm going to do is start adding some color behind them.
So now I'm going to cut this down because I have a frame that I can put it in. All right, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, you can join me next week. I don't know what I'm going to be doing yet, so if you have any suggestions, you can leave it in the comments. And if you want to see more videos like this, like Amateur Arts on Facebook. Bye!